Our society turns a blind eye to what the military is doing. So we're a very dependent society on the research done for, for the purpose of killing. So we're, you know, depending on death uh, research. Americans and Canadians and whatever today, we're citizens of planet Earth and we want to take a look at the whole thing. You know, our planet is traveling at 170,280 kilometers per hour. Uh, just to compare with the Concord, it went 1,000 kilometers per hour. We're racing around the universe, around our sun. Uh, and besides moving forward, we're turning on our axis. So we're spinning and moving at the same time. And we don't have this in our heads. We feel like everything's calm and we're in one place, but we aren't. For a long time, people thought there was nothing above the earth but air. It's the same kind of primitive idea as uh, thinking that there's nothing below the ground but dirt, you know. Uh, you find out you're wrong, that there's lots of things up there. So I just point out there's a little tiny bit here, which is our troposphere. That's the part that's got water, and that's part of the biosphere. The biosphere includes the troposphere and also on the earth and under the earth and under the water, wherever there's life. So biosphere is bigger. It includes under the earth as well as the above. But the living part is just that little bit there that we call the troposphere. Above that is the stratosphere. Then there's another layer we call the mesosphere. And above that we have the uh, thermosphere and the exosphere. So there are five different layers. They're very distinct. And as you can imagine, we didn't know this so we started sending up rockets and satellites and people into the uh, atmosphere around our Earth. So this uh, science, if anybody uh, went to, was still in school in 1964 you, or 67, you might have learned a little bit of this. But some of this we learned as, uh, just as short a time ago as 1994. So, you know, most of us didn't learn this in school. This is, this is new. But I just wanted to show you, uh, down here in the stratosphere is where the ozone layer is. Uh, in the, um, the lower part, the two top layers are called the ionosphere. That's where your uh, aurora borealis is. And the satellites are up here in the exosphere. So they're still within the uh, gravity of Earth. Now we have another wonderful cover on the outside of the Earth. And these are called the Van Allen belts and the magnetosphere. The reason it looks so funny and it trails off is because we're moving so fast. for drought and for rain. 
right? Because wherever those rivers are, you're going to get a lot of water. And what, if the rivers move away, you get a draw. This is an actual uh, picture from satellite. And I just wanted to show you where these rivers were. Uh, this is part of the river that's out over the Atlantic Ocean. And it was taken in 1988. But if you remember that big flood we had in the Mississippi Valley, this is what happened to the river. See how it comes in right over the Mississippi. So this is what I'm, uh, what I'm talking about. And I'm uh, really emphasizing it particularly because this is one of the things our military is trying to do is change the direction of these rivers. Yeah, I know, it's scary. Now, if you go up a little bit higher, about 10 kilometers above the Earth, uh, Earth's surface, you find the big winds. These were discovered during World War II because the uh, jet planes were flying up higher than the commercial planes, and they found themselves caught in the jet streams. So that they were not known before World War II. These, uh, they're on your TV every night now. You watch where the jet stream is, and you see whether you're above it or below it, because that's your weather. <laughs> okay, so that's another thing that they try to manipulate is the jet stream. Uh, and these, these are about 10 kilometers up. But when you get up to the ionosphere, that's those top two layers, the thermosphere and the exosphere, uh, you're into the ionosphere. Now, an ion is uh, an ordinary atom. If you knock an electron out of the orbit, you get the electron is negatively charged, and you call it a negative ion, and the rest of the molecule is positively charged, so you call it positive ions. So the energy on this level of the ionosphere, everything is an ion. Everything is positively and negatively charged. It's what we call a plasma. Now, I'm sure you learned in school that uh, substances can be solids, liquids, or gases. Well, if you get even more active than a gas, you're in a plasma. Okay, it's, it's more... Uh, motion in the molecules and they're all electrically charged. So this is the very dangerous uh, uh, layer around the Earth. First of all, it's a very protective layer because being electrically charged, anything that comes at our Earth that's charged is going to be grabbed on this layer. Right? And it's going to be channeled into what we call the electrojet. Now these Remember, we had rivers, and then we had wind, and then this is where the electricity is. The electrojets uh, go, go um, there. first of all, they contain more electricity than all of the grids in the whole world, in the whole Earth. They have more electricity. You can imagine the power of these things. If they touch down on the Earth, they blow out grids. That's really what I think happened to us in the blackout. Okay? They're, they're, they're manipulating these. And if they touch down, remember 1995? Uh, that was when it, the first manipulation of the electrojets occurred, and there was a blackout on the whole West Coast and up into Canada, the, uh, the um, Vancouver, all of British Columbia and Alberta blew out all at once. Remember? And they kind of stuttered on the TV and they said, well, too many people had turned on their air conditioners. <laughs> you know? I, I mean, you get really, all you have to do is listen to the arguments on the TV and you know very well that uh, something funny happened. I mean, you just use your sixth sense. The satellites also are up there in the exosphere. That's where they travel. Now, this is just kind of puts it into some perspective. So three kilometers up or a